on an Ascension Cemetery in Lake Forest, California. I want to stop by and pay my respects to Nicole Brown Simpson. This is where she's laid to rest. What a sad story that is. This is the girl that uh, O.J. Simpson was acquitted of murdering. And uh, a lot of people believe he did it, including me. But what a what a truly sad story it is. It looks to me like her dad is buried there too. I'm not real sure how that works. If they maybe they they're doing multiple interments uh, at different levels in this area. Well, I'm at Pacific View Memorial Park, and uh, it's in Orange County, California. I came here to pay my respects to the Duke. John Wayne is buried right here. Now for like 20 years, he was there wasn't a marker here. The, the family did it because they were afraid something might happen to it but, or that people might be stealing it or that type of stuff. But here's where the Duke lays. It's quite a nice marker he's got now. Kind of overlooking this back reservoir right on the Pacific. I mean, you can see the Pacific Ocean right out there. Just thought you might like to see where, where he's laid to rest. And I also ended up passing Michael Landon's grave right here. It's kind of in a closed in area it's decorated looks like he's the only one there so right now okay I'm at the cemetery in uh, Mineral Point Wisconsin and this is Alan Ludden's grave. He was the host of the game show Password during the 70s. And he's also the husband of um, Betty White. And uh, he died in 1981. He's a few kind of, you know, were, grew up and watched TV in the, in the 70s. Password was a, a big game show. And he was the the uh, main host of it. Today I'm at Calvary Cemetery in uh, Rochester, Minnesota. And um, I'm at a doctor's grave and also a baseball player's grave. And uh, his name is Archibald Wright Moonlight Graham. And most people probably will not know who he is, but he was a, an old-time baseball player. I think he, he played in the early 1900s. Um, but what made his character or his, his actual playing time important is that in the uh, 1989 movie Field of Dreams, uh, he was portrayed by uh, Burt Lancaster and, uh, and so people became familiar with him in that. He had something to do with Shoeless Joe Jackson and I don't know if he played in that same era. I'm not a scholar on this by any means but I just thought it was interesting that that he's buried here and the fact that he he was a physician and also a baseball player. There he sits. You can see people have left baseballs and 
Archibald Graham. Called him Moonlight. Died in 1965. Today I stopped in Clarion, Iowa to visit the gravesite of uh, the lead guitarist for the Alice Cooper band. Like I may have already said that this is in the town of Clarion, Iowa. And you can see that people stop by here and drop off beer bottles because they were known to drink a little bit of beer. As you can see, he died in 1997. You can see he was instrumental in, in uh, Alice Cooper song and album, School's Out. You can see it has all the initials. It has Alice Cooper and Michael B. Uh, N. Smith. All the original group members. And you'll see in there it says... GB plus LM. He had met a girl named Lori Miller who was a nurse here and was about to get married to her. I think um, he died like a month before they were scheduled to get married. So this is where Glenn is laid to rest. Today I'm in Humboldt, Iowa. And I stopped here uh, just to go to Union Cemetery on the northern edge of town because um, a famous newscaster is buried here. And if you're from the 70s and 80s like I am, uh, spent your early adult life during that time, um, you'll remember Harry Reasoner. He was an anchor for the... Uh, the I think CBS Evening News. There are a lot of reasoners here. His whole family is buried here. Each one of these graves here is a reasoner. But Harry Reasoner, and I think his dad was named Harry too, but this is actually the newscaster here. This is Harry Reasoner died in, in 1991. I think he was living in New York at the time or Connecticut, someplace like that, um, and uh, had a heart attack and uh, died fairly young. Yeah, this is Grant, where Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies is buried. Uh, her name was Irene Ryan, and she's brought us a bunch of laughter over the years. She's on the very bottom level in the mausoleum. It's fairly easy to find because there's a picture of her up here. Kind of neat to see. See a celebrity like this final resting place. I also stopped to look at Ted Bissell's uh, grave. He died in 1996, and he was in Gomer Powell USMC and also the sitcom That Girl, which had Marlo Thomas in it. I think he played the, the boyfriend. Kind of a nondescript grave. And while looking for uh, Sheldon Leonard's uh, grave, I just happened to pass Max Factor uh, Sr. Uh, Junior's here somewhere. Oh, here's Junior. His whole family's buried here. I think he was a kind of a pioneer in, in, uh, in Hollywood makeup. So... He did a lot of the stars back in the late 20s, early 30s. Thank you so much for watching.